I love a good training montage as much as anyone, but y'all know what comes first. That's right, your friendly reminder that this video is going to be going through content related to the machine learning competition lesson in the Kaggle Intro to Machine Learning course. We're ready. We've been training for this day the entire video series. We've studied the pancake data, we've trained the models, and we've eaten the results. They were delicious. And now that we think we've built the best possible pancake recipe in the world using a random forest model, well, how are we going to get confirmation that it really is the best possible? recipe. One way to do that is to stack our model up against models that our Kaggle peers have built, and we can do that by entering a machine learning competition. Come on, let's go! Thinking back on our model, was it really the best model that it could be? I mean, it was pretty good, but we maybe could have improved it. Some things you can do to start improving your model are things like adjusting some model parameters or looking at the features and doing some feature engineering. Machine learning competitions might feel a little intimidating, but I really want to encourage you to try it out. There's so much to be learned, not only by working on your model and seeing your place on the leaderboard move up and sometimes down, but you can also talk with other Kagglers in the forums and read through notebooks to get inspiration for your own work. Remember, we're all here learning together. So from the lesson, we see that we're going to create a random forest model, which we know how to do, and we're going to run it on all of our training data because we no longer need to hold out our validation set. So if we want to see if we improved our accuracy, how can we check? That's right, we are going to calculate a mean absolute error. All right, before we get too caught up in optimizing our model, I want to talk us through the basics of submitting to a competition. We're still doing all of the same things that we did before, but when we submit to the Kaggle housing prices competition, we only need to submit the results of our model's prediction. This still follows the pattern of defining our model, fitting our data, and making predictions. Now, we've used the Melbourne data as a demo, but the competition uses Iowa housing data, consistent with what you've been using in the Intro to Machine Learning exercises. For us, we're going to continue using the Melbourne data in this demonstration. And the idea here is that we're going to use non-test data to iterate and optimize our model, something you'll learn more about in the Intermediate Machine Learning class. So let's walk through the steps now, because this is a fantastic opportunity to practice all of the major steps in building an ML model. So what we need to see is how our model generalizes to data that it's never seen before. So what we've done here is we're going to run our data path, we've got our test data path, we've got our test data, and then we're going to create test underscore x, which is coming from our test data, but only includes the columns we used for predictions. And just like we did with our validation and training data, we're going to create our features and store them in test underscore capital X, and then making predictions, and we'll call that test underscore preds for predictions, and we'll set that equal to rf underscore model dot predict and run that on test underscore capital X. So that's it. We have now run our model to make predictions on a test data set. So now it's time to get our file to submit to the competition. The lines here show how to save predictions in a format used for competition scoring, and you just have to uncomment and run them. Once this is done, you can download your file by going over to the right side of the screen, and in your output folder, you should have a working directory for Kaggle. If your file isn't showing up there, you might have to hit the arrows and refresh your directory contents. And what you're looking for is something called submission.csv. If you hover over submission.csv, you'll see that you can copy the file path or you'll see more actions. Click on more actions and click download and you'll have your submission.csv file. Here's a fun thing to note. Now, when we download our submission file, it contains predictions for any given house in the data set based on the model that we built. And then when we submit to the competition, our position on the leaderboard is determined by how close our predicted values in our submission file are to the actual values. Now, there's a lot more behind this, and you can dig into more on the leaderboard and competitions in general by reading through the frequently asked questions and competition documentation. But before we go too far, I do want to talk about our submissions.csv file. Now, when you submit to a Kaggle competition, your file has to be in a certain format. And in this case, we've set it up to format it for you. But if you submit to a competition and your data isn't in the right format, you'll get a warning and you won't be able to submit to the competition. So it's sometimes good to be able to peek at your data and see what's going on. So this is the first few rows of our submissions.csv data file. I just want you to know that you can open your submission file and take a look at it because Kaggle accepts competition submissions in a specific format. And every once in a while, something sad or weird might have happened to your file while you were downloading it. So being able to open it and just take a quick look is a great way to make sure that it is looking the way it's supposed to look. Now, this housing prices competition has a lot of submissions. 
So don't get discouraged if you don't place in the top 10 or even the top 10,000 for this competition. I think when I first submit, I placed somewhere in the 30,000s. Everyone in this competition is learning and started out exactly where you are today. So think of your first submission and position on the leaderboard as your starting point with plenty of room to learn, grow, and advance. Okay, y'all, combining everything you've learned about machine learning competitions on the Kaggle Learn Machine Learning Competitions module, along with what we've covered in this video, there are two main points I'd like to recap. One, machine learning competitions are a great way to improve our data science skills as well as measure our progress. And two, we've learned how to create and submit predictions for the house prices competition for Kaggle Learn users. Can I tell you something? I'm really proud of you. You have come this far in the Intro to Machine Learning Learn With Me series, and there's more. I really hope you'll join me in the next video where we're gonna go through the AutoML bonus lesson. AutoML is a machine learning tool that helps build models for us, and it's pretty cool. I would love to show you what it's all about. So what are you waiting for? Let's learn.